Hey guys, happy Sunday and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I am going to vlog today because Austin and I are about to head to church. We're actually running a little bit behind, but I just hopped out of the shower. I showed you guys a little bit of like what I did this morning, making my tea and everything. So I'm going to go pick out an outfit now. I need your help because I always get so lost on Sunday mornings because like I want to look cute but not too cute. Like I want to be comfortable. So the first thing I do is I'm going to check the temperature on my phone. Alright, so let's see. It's 35 degrees right now. So probably going to do a few layers but nothing like too crazy like it was when I was in Pittsburgh last weekend. Alright, so here is my wreck of a closet. So let's pick something out. Okay. Period. Fit of the day. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, Austin just finished another Tobani. <laughs> it's not done. The love affair picked up where it left off. <laughs> Anyways, we're headed to church. Uh, we're definitely gonna be like mm, eight minutes late. <laughs> but honestly, it's better than it has been before because we've been like 15, 20 minutes late. So. <laughs> I wonder who's to blame. <laughs> Most of the time, it's actually Austin because no, he waits. It's never me. No, listen. It's because, never me. <laughs> listen, because Austin waits until the last minute to take a shower, but today he didn't. But usually it's like 11:20. He's I like, "Okay, ready, let me hop I'm in the ready shower." I've you every week. That's not true. It's all calculated. Anyways, this morning I was running behind because I hated every single outfit that I picked out because it was all ugly. Which is why I need to purge my closet because if I am not wearing the items that I'm picking out, then obviously I shouldn't keep them. I should give them away or sell them. <laughs> so, anyways, we have been a little bit sick this week. I was I went to Pittsburgh and then I got sick um, and I came back and I guess I gave Austin whatever I had. I went to the doctor. I was negative for COVID. Austin was negative for COVID because we both got tested again Thursday because one of my friends was exposed. She had it. So it's good that we don't have it, but we've still been like super sick and like congested and just miserable. Like I'm waking up multiple times in the middle of the night. So it hasn't been very pleasant to say the least. <laughs> I've been very sick the last couple of days. Yeah, Austin's had like, what, if you, what symptoms have you had? Sore throat, runny nose, just bad sinus congestion, body aches all over, constant fever. Yeah. And it'll like get better for a little while and then go away. And then, and then it hurt again. Yeah. So we're feeling, like I feel almost like 100%. I took a shower and I think it like helped my congestion. I'm not contagious because I've literally been sick for like a week at this point and it's been like up and down up and down i don't know if austin's feeling better <laughs> i still have a fever i'm gonna wear my mask into church yeah just to be um cautious but anyways today is the 16 year anniversary of um the church that we go to so I'm excited. I don't really know what's planned, but I'm sure like every birthday celebration that I've ever been at, like for the church that I grew up, they always did like special stuff and had like a cool worship set and um, you know, like a special video, like just commemorating the years or whatever. So I'm sure it'll be really cool, but I'm excited to be back because last weekend I was out of town in Pittsburgh and then the weekend before we were in the mountains. So I literally haven't been to church in person in like a month, basically. So, I'm excited to be back. Anyways, I probably won't film in there. <laughs> I'm definitely not bringing this camera in there. But I, I may record <clears throat> a few short clips on my phone. But yeah, I would never bring this camera in there. That would be so embarrassing. So anyways, goodbye. <laughs> Someone come get me. Austin's such a bad driver. <laughs> oh, for that. Well, <laughs> my phone just flew off of the dashboard into the cup holder. <laughs> oh my god, it just fell down on the ground. <laughs> Anyways, so they had pizza after church, so I definitely shouldn't be eating it, but it was 
It is delicious. I love pepperoni pizza. Austin definitely snagged two pieces, and I think it was just one per person. So, there were no signs. I mean, it was one per plate, so. They didn't make it clear that you shouldn't grab two. <laughs> Maybe they thought you had a child <laughs> who wanted a slice. <laughs> anyway, we're headed home. I didn't need. <laughs> I didn't need. I need to unload the dishwasher and like plan out some groceries for the week. And uh, with very minimal money because I basically have no money right now. So I need to figure out like what we're gonna eat like every night and day <laughs> without starving. And then Austin leaves at 2.30 to go to work. So I'm, plan I'm planning to film another video after he leaves that will hopefully be posted tomorrow. And then I'm gonna work for a little while on a couple of logos for my friends' companies. And then... <laughs> I have to splice that out and do a bloopers or something. I just ate all the pepperoni and cheese off of my slice. It looks so sad. <laughs> that was a good service. Yeah. The pastor did a really good job <laughs> with that. I've never... I don't think I've ever heard that story used in a sermon, and it's like really applicable to so many different scenarios. It was Acts chapter 12, 1 through 17, and it was about Peter, who... Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Acts 12, 1 through 17 is about Peter, who had a reputation in the Gospels for being a doubter. He There was a few times in the Gospels where he d denied Christ three times, he... Um, came to Jesus in the boat on the, during the storm and thought they were going to all die like with Jesus right there with him he had a common reputation as a doubter but in this story in Acts 12 he's literally in a jail cell sleeping between two guards going to face his death the next day and an angel appeared to him and gave him commands and Peter obeyed the commands without doubting or questioning anything and ultimately he was saved by his obedience I think that's just such a good point because like there's so many times like in my addiction or in, you know, any different scenario somebody's dealing with, a lot of times they're going to have to act before God will bless them. If Peter had not listened to that angel and gotten up, he would have died the next day. But God gave him a few commands and he listened and he was ultimately saved at that time. And another good point was James had just been beheaded and the church was still praying earnestly for Peter. And the pastor said that, how easy would it be for the church to be defeated because James had just died like probably just a few days or weeks before Peter mm -hmm. was in jail so Peter's in jail now and in the Bible it said the church prayed earnestly for Peter mm -hmm. and how hard is it for us to remain earnest in our prayers after we have an unanswered prayer like they prayed earnestly for James and James was beheaded so how easy would it have been for them to just give up but the Bible doesn't say they didn't pray it said they prayed earnestly for Peter and then one of the titles of the sermon was Don't Stop Knocking because after Peter was saved, he got to the house where the people were at and they wouldn't open the door for him. That He knocked on the door and Mary was so excited she forgot to open it and then she went to the disciples and she said, hey, Peter's at the door. And they said, no, Peter's probably about to die. He's probably being... They were only praying that Peter would be bolstered by the Holy Spirit at that point and not saved. And I feel like that's that can be a point to like churches that are praying say like someone's got cancer and they're like praying that she'll have a they're praying for that person to die without much pain instead of praying that the cancer will be removed or you know i'm sure there's better examples but like it's just a point to the lack of faith people have sometimes like oh i pray that the holy spirit will be with peter and peter's banging on the door outside and they you know well, he said, like, they were too busy praying for, like, the one specific thing that they had in mind to even realize that, like, God would do more than they were praying right. for, you, which you, I thought was a really good yeah, point. say what you got out of it. It was really, all together, it was a great story. I will have to look at my notes because I'm more of a look at my notes and reflect person, so I will get back to you on that. <laughs> Those are really good thoughts. Thanks for sharing, babe. It was a great sermon, and the worship was really good, and I'm really thankful that I didn't have any issues 
because normally it's so loud but like I was thinking about it and it, it was as loud as it always is but I was fine I think it was just because God was I just had I really don't know just fresh faith I guess you can't put that in the video hmm some people don't like to be exposed you're gonna have to cut that baby <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so cold out here. <laughs> I am literally traumatized. A bird almost attacked me. It didn't attack you. It, li it literally went like, <gasps> like a psycho. I think he just wanted to scare you. Bruh. That's not okay. I have boundaries. <laughs> that was a close encounter. I'm surprised she didn't have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very upset right now. <laughs> it was kind of surprising. People think, listen, I'm so scared of birds, and people think, oh, that's stupid, Gabrielle. A bird's not going to attack you. Why do you have such an irrational fear? No. And no, I've never seen the movie Birds. Okay, that's stupid. It is kind of irrational. It's because sometimes they do crazy things, and they just dive at you for no reason, and I feel like they're just going to land on me and, like, pluck my face out. Anyways... So that is the 411 on why I hate birds. Who are you? Thank you for the weed. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> Well, that was lovely. We stopped in a park and we walked around for approximately 15 seconds. It was about five minutes, give or take. <laughs> it was just way too cold. Like, it's definitely, again, not as cold as Pittsburgh. But my jacket is just like kind of thin and I don't have gloves or anything, and I have gigantic holes in my pants. So, it's definitely not ideal. It's pretty cool. Ladies, leave your fellas at home. Sorry. How does an export go? Something about jumping, jumping. Just Something stop. About... Please cut that. <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing. You're embarrassing. You wear the same sweatshirt everywhere. You I haven't after, worn this for a long after time. After I bought you multiple sweatshirts for Christmas and made a point to I do it. I haven't He's worn this in a month. Is wearing this. A month. I haven't Eight dollars sweatshirt I got for him I haven't two worn years it for ago at Belk. It's been like six months since I've worn this. <laughs> I haven't worn it this winter at all. I haven't. I've worn all the other ones. She's lying. <laughs> He thinks he hasn't worn it in six months. She don't know. I'll pull up the photos right now. <coughs> What's up, guys? So, it has been many, many hours since I have recorded for this particular video. Basically, Austin and I got home pretty late from church, and then we grabbed a quick bite, and then he headed off to work, and I passed out in the bed. And I was supposed to be productive today and design my friend's logo, and meal plan for this week and all this crap <laughs> and I didn't do any of it <laughs> so I got up really quick and I recorded a get to know me video for this channel which should be up before this video goes up and so now I'm gonna try to figure out I'm gonna upload those videos really quick and just make like a short outline of graphics that I need because I want to edit it tonight and then post it tomorrow. And then I'm going to make a quick grocery list because I'm not going to like go crazy with groceries this week. We really barely have any money to be honest. Just because like with me transitioning jobs, I miscalculated a little bit with how much money I would have. So that was unfortunate. My arms are like so shaky when I record. I'm like, hey guys. So anyways, <clears throat> going to do that really quick. And then... Probably in about 40 minutes, I will head to the grocery store once I have a list and then I'll come back unload and Then work on my friend's logo and Kind of get ready for the week and everything So I probably won't end this until like before we go to sleep, but Austin works until 10 tonight or 10 30 so Anyways, let me upload that really quick and I will be back Hello everyone, so today did not go as planned. I did not go to the grocery store, I didn't work on my friend's logo, I didn't do my other work. I really didn't do Jack. And it's embarrassing. But I did edit the video for tomorrow and I filmed it, so that's important. But, we went to Taco Bell. <laughs> I dragged Austin against his will. 
So, I'm about to sit down and enjoy this beautiful taco. I already ate two in the car. And my Baja Blast freeze. Also, can we just talk about the fact that why aren't the larges large anymore? They used to be like the large McDonald's cups. Right. And now they look like a freaking small. Let me show you. What is this? And only half of it is liquid because it's mostly ice. So it's, it's disgraceful. Why? Anyways, I'm going to eat this. Good night. Good night. I'm about to go to bed. Austin is going to sit here like a potato. I have a lot of homework to do. <laughs> Not about to do his homework. He's going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to play old school RuneScape and Prowl. <laughs> I'm going to stay up for 10 more minutes than her, and she's going to give me a whole day's worth of crap about her. Hello, Squishy. Go to bed. She has to work in eight hours. Anyways, it's fine, guys. I just scheduled my video for tomorrow, so that's why I stayed up late. Go to bed. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this day in the life. It is midnight and I am about to get in the bed. Well, I'm in the bed. I'm about to go to sleep. I have to be at work at 8.15, so it wasn't a great idea to stay up this late, but I did. So, anyways, there were many things that I thought I was going to do today that I did not get a chance to do. And there were a lot more clips that I thought I would film that I didn't, but that's okay. That's real life. So, anyway, Austin's yelling at me now <laughs> to go to sleep. So, I will. Good night.